two pounds of going. myself in a row. I am paying big time. Uh, yeah, I've got the uh, race cars here. I've got lots to do. Got to make my uh, list of things to do right away on the board there. And Scott and Dave and Brock, my friends, all come over and do work on it, and I've been helping when I can, but Scott knows that I'm limited in what I can do. One thing we did get done was this horizontal bar here we put in. That, uh, I grabbed tubing that I had and we made it work. Already had bends on it. And that piece there, we joined two pieces, so we, uh, we joined it with uh, that section there. And the pipes butt up against each other inside. And we also did the, the rosette welds uh, before it was welded around the, uh, the ends. And then it was welded on. I started it, but my hands were too shaky to do the, the welding, and the welder was acting up, so uh, Brock, my friend, came out. I should have videotaped the last few days, but I didn't. So Brock came out and uh, figured out what my welder was doing. I just didn't have the brains to think of what was going on. I knew the, the, the gas wasn't doing its job. Between that and my hands shaking, I was just not doing well. And uh, so Brock came out, fixed it up, did the welding, uh, put it in yesterday, and uh, the other day Scott was starting to put new padding in paint I used is, must be old or something because it's still tacky and it's been, you know, probably 12 or 14 hours, so it's going to take a few days. Of course we took the seat out and we're, Dave was doing uh, patches on the floor. We have a couple of spots we'll have to fix that uh, he was having trouble popping holes. The, uh, Flexible brake lines were all bad, and uh, I told Scott that I wouldn't let the car go on the track for even test runs with those 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 hoses because they were so bad. So these are high performance hoses, and uh, you know they should do a pretty good job. So I loosened. Uh, Broke all the fittings loose a couple days ago, but um, I didn't bother changing the lines. Uh, we got uh, Dave came yesterday and did that, and uh, Scott was here and helping, doing what he could, and they uh, put the new master cylinder on for the brakes. The old one was working fine, but we wanted the new one on, so they did that. And uh, got the brakes bled. The old one is still good, so we boxed it up and it'll be in the uh, spare parts bin. And uh, I was working off and on on the uh, motorhome cruise control. I got the tack wired. Um, last night, having known that I had overdone it, I was walking, walking here to uh, close the hood. And I got about here. 
and my legs buckled and I stumbled over the block that was sitting up right here and I knocked it over and landed on top of this. So I'm feeling the effects of that. I've got to, you know, I wrenched my back a bit and banged my knees. A few other things that are hurting. And I was 10 minutes away from being able to put the dash in yesterday. The guys were working on the car. I was working on this and going and visiting them when I could. So it was just 10 minutes away from being able to button this up. And it started to rain. So now it's about um, I don't know, 4 o'clock Thursday. And we're supposed to be taking the motor home to uh, tonight to the town where Amber's going to do her 12-hour uh, cancer fundraiser uh, relay walk uh, tomorrow. want to get a good spot to park it so she has a place to, to chill because it uh, starts at 7 o'clock Friday night and goes till 7 in the morning. It's just going to be... Uh, people she works with. So, where I am now is... I'm going to clean up those wiring mess. And I wired in to the brake switch. I rewired the tack so the light's uh, separate from the tack ground for the light is separate so it'll work properly with the uh, with the dash lights so now all I have to do is put the uh, the module in which will just go in with uh, some twist ties or the or zip ties I mean and the three components just plug in so it's pretty pretty easy to do that's all I had left to do last night then I can put the dash back together I, uh, I'm tired today I got to bed actually about 1, 1 1.30 last night, which is unusual for me. I'm usually up till 4 or 5, but my body started shutting down last night. You know, 9 o'clock or so, I was feeling it. I think it was around 10, 30, 11 last night when I took my tumble. And... Um, I was in bed by about 1.30 and I fell asleep fast and that's unusual for me and I I woke up around 10 o'clock this morning and uh, laid in bed for about 10 minutes and I thought I'm not getting up so I just laid there and fell asleep fast and woke up again at noon got out of bed and had breakfast and Amber came home for lunch around 12.30 and when she went back to work just before 1 um, I was going to come out and do this but uh, I still wasn't feeling great so I just went back to bed and slept for another two hours so I slept about uh, Maybe 12 hours in the last, you know, since uh, 
1.30 this morning. So I've maybe been up for two, two and a half hours total. And I still feel like I'm ready for a, a night, good night's sleep. So once I get this done and put the dash in, I won't bother with the, uh, the servo under the hood. I'll just, although the wiring is here, I'll just tie it up out of place and not leave it hooked up yet. And I'll, I'll hook it up when, you know, the next week or after, on the weekend when the camper comes home. Um, I also have to put the deep cycle battery in and uh, have to go and fill it with propane before we leave for, for the other town tonight. So I just thought I'd give you an update. And uh, I'm not down, I'm just tired, so, you know. Well, I'm, I guess a little down, but no more than normal. Uh, it's just my body is rebelling big time right now, and that's not helping matters. I'm trying to get things ready for Amber. So, if you hang, hang tight for a minute, I'm going to go get some zip ties, and then I can button this up. So, I'll be back. Time out. I am back. Let's see what we can get done here. I'm not going to be able to get the, maybe I'll move the shifter up out of the way for you. Um, I was taking several breaks yesterday. Uh, let's see if I get a better place to put this. There we go. That's a little better. I was uh, taking several breaks to rest yesterday. Rest, you know, sitting down because my legs are what's really bothering me the worst. Uh, and that was good. So one of the times I sat, I started grabbed a scrap of sandpaper and started sanding a little bit on one corner of the race car, knowing that we're going to uh, try and make, clean it up and make it look, you know, half-ass decent. So I've been, you know, watching videos. I'm falling behind. I don't know how. It just, either people, you know, part of it is because I've subscribed to several more people, but uh, it seems people are putting videos out again, and I just don't seem to watch them all enough. And you try to catch up, and, and it's hard to, and YouTube is screwing up again, I noticed, for, for me anyway. Um, and when you, when you just have your uh, subscribers videos posted showing up and then you click on where you just want the uploads and then you click on uh, everything so you get all, so you don't just get the odd video they decide to let you see. When I go to the bottom and it says, you know, it has a spot where it says to load more, when I load more it just loads the same ones that were already loaded once. So that's of no use to me. So if, if I'm trying to go back to the originals, or the, you know, if it's a multi-part video, I can't get to the first one unless I go to that person's site specifically. So with all those supposedly brilliant people trying to improve YouTube, I don't know how every time they make a change, they fuck it up. It's kind of funny. Maybe that's why they're working for YouTube and not, uh, not NASA or Microsoft or, or Apple or something. When it comes to doing real stuff, they don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> 